If you would, go ahead and take your copy of God's Word and turn with me to Luke 2. As you're turning there, I, I know you guys have heard me say before, um, I mean, I love this time of the year. I think there's uh, much to go after as those who are God's people this time of the year. You know, the songs we sing, uh, if your eyes have been open and your ears have been open, Lord, to the gospel, you hear and read such rich theology uh, in those songs. You know, in some ways I say, like, why don't we sing those all year? You know, God and sinners reconciled. Uh, things like that that we sing. And what's really neat about this time of the year, it just kind of brings a smile to your face as one who is a worshiper of the king. You walk through stores and you hear these songs and you even hear those who don't know the king singing the songs uh, and they don't know that which they're singing. Um, and so we just take advantage of this time of year. Hopefully we've all done that in some capacity with our neighbors, uh, classmates, or whoever that may be, that we've had an opportunity to uh, share a little of the truth of why we do what we do and, and who we worship. With that said, let's go ahead and look at our copy of God's Word here. And in particular, I will continue uh, reading what Pastor Jared read earlier. I'll start actually though back in verse 6 and it says, and while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes cloths and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. Verse 8, and in the same region there were shepherds out in the field keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with...